Welcome back to Inside Media. Earlier on the show, we talked to Brian Treeb and took a look at his very cool and expensive rig that will make potentially shaky shots really smooth. So now we're going to show you how to make your own shots less shaky with a little contraption called the Fig Rig. Hi everyone, and welcome to On a Budget, where we show you how to build camera equipment for a fraction of the cost. Today, we're going to build a fig rig, which is kind of like a steering wheel with a camera mount in the middle, and it makes it a lot steadier than holding a camera with just your bare hands. Uh, we're actually using one right now. Yeah, that was pretty steady, right? Now, if you were to buy a fig rig retail, it would be about $300, but today we're going to teach you how to build one for just 30 bucks. So let's get building. Things you'll need, a length of three quarter inch PVC pipe, a drill with a quarter inch drill bit, a hacksaw, a measuring tape, PVC cement, a cross PVC, two PVC end caps, two T-shaped PVC, a quarter inch nut, quarter inch fly nut, and a washer, one quarter inch bolt, and 10 45 degree PVC elbows. First thing you want to do is measure six six inch pieces of PVC and then cut them with the hacksaw. Afterwards, make sure to clean the ends of the PVC. Now you can use the first cut piece to measure the next one to save time. Then continue these steps for all the different lengths. After cutting your lengths, you should have six six inch, two three inch, four two and a half inch and four one and a half inch pieces. Next you'll need to attach the quarter inch bolt to the PVC end cap. First drill a hole with your quarter inch bit and then using the quarter inch nut followed by the end cap, fly nut and then washer assemble the camera mount. Make sure to put the washer on top of the butterfly nut when you attach the camera. Before you start assembling, line up the pieces on a flat surface. Put the 6 inch pieces on the outside, the 2.5 inch pieces on the bottom right and left, then the 3 inch and 1.5 pieces in the cross assembly in the middle. Now you can start using your PVC cement to attach the pieces. I found starting at the top and working your way down is the most effective way. Just be sure to check twice before gluing and plan a step ahead. PVC cement can be unforgiving. There you go, hard part's done. All you have to do now is attach your camera and test it out. So, as you can see, this is the completed fig rig. We chose to paint ours black. Uh, you can choose to paint yours any color you'd, you'd like or personalize it any way. Uh, as you can see, we have just a little point and shoot camera in the middle. Uh, this works great with those, as well as GoPros and DSLRs, especially DSLRs. But uh, yeah, so that's it for this episode on On a Budget. I'm Shane Lynch, and uh, I'll see you here next time. Great build, Shane. Pretty cool stuff, right? Speaking of cool stuff, the crew and I were able to be part of a festive and exciting event over the holidays, the Belleville Santa Claus Parade. Christmas is a time filled with many traditions. Among them is the Santa Claus Parade, and in Belleville, Ontario, everyone was excited for the event. The streets were filled with parents, children, and a film crew? Every year, the local Kojiko station films and broadcasts the parade live to the city of Belleville. And every year, TV students from Loyalist College are the ones running it. I am the director of the Santa Claus Parade. I am producing this remote. I am the playback and record. I am the assistant director. I'm the editor. My position is camera one. I'm the camera that's going to be doing like the close-ups and actually the handheld stuff. Like I play the intro to the actual Santa Claus parade and any bumpers and if we need any fillers then I have that all on the hard drive and then I just hit play. Pretty much going to be following uh, 
the wide angle and everything, pretty much. I'm all over the place, and uh, during the actual live shoot, uh, I'll be, I'll be directing. I'll be calling all the shots. While the parade didn't start until later in the day, the crew arrived in the morning to begin setting up. There was a lot of preparation involved, especially because it was a live event, and live events have a completely different feel than any other film production. Handheld's fun, but this is this is live, so there's a little bit more pressure. If I'm not in position when something happens, then that really puts me out of luck because I've got to I've got to make sure I'm always I'm always where I'm needed. Otherwise, we miss it, and we are gonna have to you know cover it up somehow. <laughs> well, it's live, so everything's a little bit more upscale, and you're a little bit nervous. Uh, so many things can go wrong, and it's hard to fix them. There's a lot more obviously prep work. You got to plan out your area a lot more. You have less control over what goes on. For uh, single camera stuff, you obviously have way more control. Oh, and because it's live, it really doesn't leave much room for mistakes. They are gonna happen, but we have to be prepared. Everybody it has to be on their game for this. Once the equipment was set up and ready to go, the technical crew got to work from the heart of the production, the Kojiko Mobile Event Truck. The truck has camera monitors, an audio mixer, a switcher, a quick editing computer, and everything else needed to broadcast an entire event live. Even though the technical team was still hard at work putting everything together, the parade was about to begin. Places everyone, places. The parade has started up at King George Square. If anything goes wrong, I'm right here. My name is Rick Kevin from Rock 107. They started filming right on time. And while there were some problems along the way... So we keep blowing out every single street light. We're taking out all the city's lights. They fixed them and kept going. Before they knew it, the event that they set up for the entire day was gone in a couple of hours. Three, two, one. Alright, stop recording. Yay! And the crew could finally pack up and head home, happy that the live event was a success. I've learned more in the last six hours than I have in two years. You're going to gain that experience of um, not having the advantage of being able to plan out as much in advance and stuff like that. So yeah, I think that's a big advantage. I think it was a huge success. There was some, you know, learning on the way, a little bit of bumps, but we worked, we worked through it as a group. And uh, yeah, it was fun to see Sam. That was a really hectic, but fun day. So today we learned a lot about environmental films, Steadicam and Steadicam operators, and the Belleville Santa Claus Parade. If you want to learn more about any of those subjects, look us up on Facebook or head to loyalisttv.com slash inside media. So tune in next time for more behind the scenes action here on Inside Media. Sorry, what? We're gonna do some. No, we're not gonna do anything. Uh, we're gonna attend some. Let's read. <laughs> For a environmental film festival. <laughs> we're gonna be uh, attending the. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, hopefully this stuff will be able to be produced. No, that's not hopeful. What? I don't know. I started. So stay tuned. Have you ever looked at a shot and wondered, how does it move so slow? <laughs> slow, no. Smooth, sorry. Great build chain. Pretty cool stuff, right? <laughs> Speaking of cool stuff, 
Head to our tune in next time for more behind the scenes action here on Inside Media. <laughs> <laughs>